I hope that video didn't just delete, but I think it did. So I'm in the woods to put up the other trail cam and I heard a truck revving up. So I freaked out and started heading back the other way. But this trail could definitely fit a vehicle and this is the trail that they were on heading directly towards my house. That's the um, neighbor behind us. That's their house right there. So it looks like they're coming in from their property. So I'm I hear the truck revving again. I got to put this up and get the heck out of these woods. And don't worry, I do have protection, but I'm still freaked out. And yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt. I don't want to hear a word about it from anybody. <laughs> I'm about to go and take a shower. I'm trying to find a spot to put this that's actually higher up. But of course, I don't have a ladder that's light enough to carry into the woods. So I'm looking to see if there's like a rock or something next to a tree. I'm shaking. So I came up into the woods to... Um, check the trail camera and I did find some I downloaded the footage I'm going to upload it after this video um most of it was animals and stuff that I really couldn't see but in two of the videos and one of the photos there's a vehicle a truck and it's heading directly towards my house through the woods there's this there's no streets back here this is literally woods like vehicles are not supposed to be back here and um, <clears throat> I did get a still shot of the guy's face that's in the truck, but I can't really see it that well. Um, oh, I'm a little nervous now, but, um, <clears throat> can anybody tell me what the hell this is? It's like wires into this tree. I don't know, like, what it would be used for, but it looks like there's some kind of liquid on it, almost. And <clears throat> there's another tree, two trees that I can see, or is it one tree, that has the same thing over here that I've never noticed before. And mind you, my trail camera is right here, so I searched this area pretty well. Um, <clears throat> like, what is that? What is it for? I hope it's not like animal traps or something, because that's, there's four of them in this tree. There's a beer can right next to it. And over by that one, there's like uh, dried fruit peel remains. Almost like maybe they were trying to bait an animal, but that shouldn't be happening in my woods. And also, I'm going to show you guys, there's clear uh, indication that someone or people were in the woods and it's right like... I'm gonna show you it. You can see my entire house, my yard, from where they would be standing in the woods, but I wouldn't have been able to see them. Um, there's a pill pill bottle cap, uh, some like coffee hay cup pod things. Again, I gotta find the spot. Hold on. I'm recording just for my safety. Where the heck was it? I know it was over in this spot somewhere, but not this way. There, it's... All right. So here's the K cup that I was talking about right there. Um, there's some garbage bag there, uh, pill bottle cap. Um, and then closer to my tree line or to my, the, the, you know, the tree line leading to my yard. Uh, we have another k-cup looks like sorry the last video cut me off so uh, i showed you the coffee thing in the uh rubber glove there's a bunch of aluminum foil over here and another gatorade bottle there's gatorade bottle this mason jar which is i mean i haven't noticed before like a sp oh come on so it looks like a spoon with some foil i don't know if that's a tourniquet and a straw and there's that pill cap over there so i i hope people aren't up here using drugs but it seems that way now i'm going to show you how close we are to my house hold on let me turn the camera okay so here's the stuff the spoon and there's my house so it's literally right on the tree line. When I see a spoon, a metal spoon, a straw, a tourniquet, and some aluminum foil, I 
can assume what they were doing. It's pretty obvious. I mean, you don't use those things for those things together for any other reason. Um, get out of these woods. All right, so I'm gonna upload the footage of the truck and everything else. I'm gonna upload the footage of the truck first just because that scared, that was what scared me the most. Um, so be on the lookout for that within the next few minutes. I don't know what that is over there with the tarp, but the as soon as I saw that rock with the hanger, oh my God, oh my God. What is that? I know it's probably somebody put that there, right? Those bran those branches that are like shaped like a teepee. Can you guys see that? Where is it? In here. You guys see that? What is that? All right, these I'm getting more and more freaked out by these woods. I feel like something is going on. Like somebody's messing with something they're not supposed to be and it's causing I just heard something following me. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. Oh god. Oh shit, hold on. something out there and I don't know what the hell it is but it's, I cannot see a person if anyone knows what that little symbol thing is just tell me in the comments all right so this is my part two so I'm gonna go and try to investigate the tarp if I can find it because now oh there it is okay Take some of this up and then I will record. Just trying to make sure there's nobody around or no animals. I don't see anything. I hear something though. Something loud. Oh, crap. So I didn't even realize this yesterday. This is legitimately a um, a box spring for a mattress. That's over part of this tarp. Hold on, I'm gonna get the shovel real quick. So I honestly don't know what this is, but the more I uncover, the more tarp I see. Oh my gosh, that bag is gone. The bag full of cans that was up here, it's gone. Look, every, oh God, bugs, I can't stand bugs. Shit, like the more I uncover, the bigger it gets and the box spring is like over something and I'm, I'm afraid that there's gonna be something under there that I don't want to be uncovering right now. So, um, I don't know. I think I might be making a phone call because what if I'm like uncovering something I don't want to see right now, you know? So this, this, um, box spring is literally embedded like it was buried partially under the ground. I don't know why. I have no clue, but then there's this like weird fucking rock here that's like a square, almost looks like a marker of some sort. Oh shoot, and it's got a big wire around it. Somebody put this here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, I don't like that at all. Okay, um, I'm gonna make some calls, guys. I'm uncomfortable with this.
So yes, I will do a quick tour around my house. Hold on, let me turn the camera. All right, so we're starting in the front just because that was the door I came out of. So I'm only gonna show part of my front porch because I don't wanna show my house number. So this is the front porch. We don't ever typically go live from here because, um, well, for one, the Wi-Fi sucks out here for whatever reason because the modem's like right near the front porch. But, um, and also because it's pitch black out here. If you guys think it's dark in the back, it's really dark in the front. So we'll go around. Just got to be careful because my house number is showing right there too. So I have three sheds total. There's two of the sheds. Those are, you know, we use those for regular sheds. That's my mom's car. Um, so this is all my property. Remember, so like those woods straight ahead, those are part of our property. And then all of these woods back here are part of our property as well. There's the shed from our shed talk. Uh, obviously there's my garage and stuff. We're heading towards the back now. Um, this is where we go live from. We are literally suspended out outside of this window when we go live at night because that's the only place I can have the iPad where I don't have to come outside to fix the screen or touch the screen so that it doesn't um, end the live. So I'll just show you behind the shed. There's only one door and one window on the shed. There's no like other entry points anywhere. Back here, we don't like, we don't really use this part of the yard back here cause it's, I know it looks kind of just like grass, but it's more like brush. And so we don't ever really cross this uh, rock wall barrier, whatever you want to call it. So there's not, no windows over here either. This is where I burn it, that somebody said it was super trashy that I burn my boxes in a line on the edge of my property. I don't, this is not the edge of my property. This is like dead center. And it is legal to burn in this, in the city I live in, town I live in, as long as you're not burning, you know, plastic and a bunch of crap. I burn boxes, paper, cardboard. I don't burn anything that shouldn't be burned. So here's the back porch. You guys obviously know the back porch and I'll show you guys the screen. Honestly, me and my husband thought it was maybe a bear that did this, but now that I look at it, it does look like a perfect slit, like somebody cut it. And it seems like they were cutting it to unlock this. Cause look, now I can unlock my porch from, from the outside, which is wonderful. So we have to get that fixed, which we'll, we won't be able to do for a very long time cause we don't have the money to fix it. And obviously I still have a, a door that goes into the inside of the house that's locked. Uh, so this is the other side of the property. This is the one neighbor that we have that lives close by, but they have not stayed here for months. I haven't seen them in months. They've been renting that house out uh, as Airbnb. There's a huge pool in the back. It's a really nice place to stay if you want to have uh, crackheads hanging out in the front yard sometimes. Coming to do what she's doing. I don't even know what she's doing. Like, I don't know if she likes my house or if she just gets lost at night or what her issue is. So this is the road that we hear cars driving past through, throughout the live. It's not a main road, but it's a, it, it gets a good amount of, you know, traffic. It's considered a back road, but it's not like a, a back road that doesn't get traveled. On. So yeah, so I mean, there's not much more to show. I can show you a little bit of the woods. I'm not gonna go out there very far. Let me turn the camera again. All right, so I'm going to cut the camera so I can walk down so I don't waste your time. So hold on. So yes, I get comments all the time, especially during my lives that say, why do you still live there? Why haven't you moved? I'd burn the house down. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> I've lived here just over a year. This has been my dream home. I've lived in this, in this area for like 28 or 29 years now. And I have driven by this house so many times and i've always said like if that house ever goes on the market and i'm able to buy that house i'm buying that house and so this house didn't even go on the market my husband's aunt go, went to church with the people that lived here and they brought up in conversation they were going to put their house on the market and start the 
process to sell it. And she said, don't put your house on the market. Let me talk to my nephew and his wife first. And so she called us and she's like, so-and-so wants to sell their house. It's, it's on this road. This is the house number. And my husband's like, no, we definitely don't want to buy a house right now. Blah, blah, blah. I said, do you even know what house she's talking about? <laughs> Call her back and say, yes, we do. Like we are interested. I said, we'll put our house in the market. And if we don't get, you know, enough back for our house, then so be it. But like we bought our last house for $158,000. When we sold it, we got 238,000 back. So we owed a hundred grand left on the mortgage. So we were able to pay that off. Like as soon as he saw the house, he was in agreement, but still. But in my 36 years of life, I've heard it numerous times. But guess what? As you get older, you really don't care what other people think about you, what other people say about you. And I'm beautiful. I look at myself in the mirror and I know that I'm beautiful. And I also know that I'm beautiful inside. And that's way more important than being beautiful outside. This, I'm hoping, and I'm going to assume that you're like a toddler. If you are picking on someone for something they cannot control like their looks um, unless I had money for you know plastic surgery which I don't and I wouldn't do um, you should be a little more original because Megamind I, I get that all the time it's really it's it's unoriginal but um, you should grow up and be a little nicer <laughs>